Science Central. Mice like this one swim well, but if they can't escape, they give up, a sign of depression. So it swims and it swims and it swims, and after a while it sees this is hopeless. I'm not getting anywhere. I can't get out of this thing. And it gives up and just floats. Nobel Prize winning psychiatrist Eric Kandel and colleague Daniela Polik used this as a model of depression. When given a common antidepressant drug, the mice showed reduced signs of depression and kept swimming. But the researchers wanted to know if behavioral therapy could do the same thing. So they trained mice to feel safe in the presence of this sound. Then they put the mice in the pool, which at first led to the expected depression. If you now sound this tone, which has previously been associated with learned safety, the animal starts swimming again, just like it would if you gave it an antidepressant medication. As they wrote in the journal Neuron, the training was also similar to drug therapy in that it caused new cells to grow in the brain. They're now conducting preliminary studies of similar training in people. It is possible that people learn to respond to a tone presented in this way to put them into a mood that helps them to combat the depressive state. But the researchers also point out an irony of their findings. It turns out that the behavioral therapy works on completely different brain chemicals than the drug therapy. And that discovery could lead to new drugs to treat mental illnesses. Sunita Reed, Science Central News.